Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and in this video I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu from a bootable USB drive on um, a desktop or a laptop. So uh, this is Ubuntu website so simply launch your preferred browser and go to ubuntu.com and click on download and we are going to install the LTS version of Ubuntu desktop. If you wish to install the latest beta which is going to be 19.04 you can definitely do that do that but LTS is going to be work on most of the systems and it's also going to be more secure uh, more vulnerable uh, less vulnerable okay so here we are so let's go ahead and click on this LTS 18.04 this keeps changing so at the moment this is the latest one so this is ISO file which is 1.9 GB 18.04 you simply have to click OK and save it but I already have downloaded it to save our time so it's under download folder I'm using this uh, Firefox browser and here you can see I've got 18.04 I also have Rufus basically it's a software that lets us um, make this image bootable on flash drive so I just have launched it but you can get it from here Rufus.ie simply launch your browser and go to Rufus.ie and download from the downloads section here click on this download button which at the moment is 3.5 so once it's downloaded go ahead and launch it wherever it is and you can see this has already detected the 4 GB flash drive so your drive needs to be at least 4 GB and you should not have any data on it if you have any data go ahead and transfer over to any other drive or put it on the desktop laptop whatever you have or somewhere on the cloud so you can see this already detects the USB you have multiple USB drives on the system plugged in go ahead and select the right one and then select the disk or image in our case it's going to be image ISO image so click on select and select the right one so we are going to install for sorry 18.04 which is the best LTS release at this moment best and latest so select it and hit ok now we do not need to do anything uh, we can simply go ahead and change the volume label this is going to be label name for this USB so at the moment it's USB it's going to be changed after this uh, uh, what do you call it action so uh, then we can go ahead and check this quick format this was already checked extended label and icon for uh, files and check for bad blocks as well and then hit start just say it's asking for permission and then say ok click ok if you have any data on this drive will be deleted the flash drive data will be deleted so make sure you back up those so say ok and this is going to do its job okay so it's going to make it bootable with this Ubuntu 18.04 and obviously it's going to take some time so once it's done I'll be right back okay thank you for your patience see I'm going to install it on Dell Latitude so this is the USB drive we made it bootable with this Ubuntu 18.04 going to insert it in the port USB port and start the laptop locate your F12 button to get in the BIOS setting on your system it may be different on my system it's 12 now go ahead and select USB storage so I have selected USB storage and going to hit enter now it's going to pull up the option page where we will have options 
to try Ubuntu before installing it and the other option is going to be install Ubuntu so it's going to take a few seconds here and here we have Ubuntu 18.04 so I've got two options it has already selected the language you can select your language if you have a different language for me it's going to be English and then if you want to try Ubuntu before you install it click here otherwise if you're ready to install click on install now again it's going to select your keyboard type so select your keyboard type here layout type it has selected US for my keyboard type and now go ahead and click continue okay here we will go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi so I'm going to select Wi-Fi for my okay then we have to enter the password hope I remember it and then hit connect mm -hmm. it's saying it's connecting and this has connected so now let's go ahead and click continue here it has already selected normal installation download updates while installing Ubuntu download third-party softwares for graphics and Wi-Fi and media as well now let's go ahead and so we have checked normal installation download updates and third-party softwares as well now let's go ahead and click continue so you can see it's still it's grayed out it's trying to connect and fix things for us um, and this system has like i5 processor and 4 GB RAM so on here installation type I'm going to select something else if you're installing so see on this system I already have Microsoft Windows 7 and 19.04 Ubuntu 19.04 so if that's the case if you already have something installed and you want to erase that and install the new uh, Ubuntu that you have on the USB flash drive you can do that if you're going to install Ubuntu only on the system erase the disk whole disk everything from the disk and install Ubuntu but if you have something and you want to keep that and you install Ubuntu along with it you simply say something else so this gives you flexibility to create and resize partition here we are so we've got four drives four partitions on this system the first two are basic are basically NTFS for Microsoft Windows 7 so and these are for Ubuntu 19.04 so I'm going to delete the swap area you can see it hopefully so this created some free space and then I'm going to delete the ext4 as well so select it and hit minus button here now you can see you've got a lot of free space here almost 120 GB so I'm going to create swap area first so select the free space here and then hit on plus sign and here we have the box so I've got 4 GB I can take 4 GB minimum for swap area but I'm going to take it like 8 GB somewhat okay and then here uh, we have to select swap area this has to be more than the RAM so basically I've got 4 GB I'm going to keep it almost double and then select the swap area and then hit OK so we're going to use this space as a swap area and then hit OK you can see this is going to create a swap area in this OK space here so this free space is going to be 
for the Ubuntu so select the free space and hit on this plus sign and leave the size as it is ext4 is perfectly fine mount point is going to be this forward slash and dash all you need now hit ok so this is going to create the ext file type here you can see so we're going to select this one ext4 which has more space on it and then click on install now okay it's saying that these two partitions 5 and 6 will be formatted so that's perfectly fine hit on continue and this is going to take some time and we will have that installation page in just a few moments here okay so this has already detected my country that's for time if, you ha if ha it hasn't on your system simply go ahead and select your country and or you can type here okay and then hit continue on Ubuntu 19.04 that doesn't select the country you have to select yourself so because that's still in beta that's not working properly this is why I prefer Ubuntu 18.04 which is LTS long term support release that is for a reason this is why people prefer LTS releases so here I have to create a username I'm going to give it a name uh, easy to remember and I'm going to choose the password a simple one require my password to log in hit continue and this is going to install Ubuntu now 18.04 you can leave it. it it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes and then once it's done I'll be right back all right thank you for your patience you can see the installation is done it says installation complete now we need to restart it so go ahead and click on restart and again it's going to take some time because it's the first boot after installation here it is Dell Latitude so you can see you've got a lot of options here so I'm going to hit enter now alright so here we are back again you can see this is login screen I'm going to hit enter and type in the password and here we are this is basically 18.04 so I forgot to take off the eject the pen drive I'm going to take it off the port and here you can see about 18.04 so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now